This is Jimmy Fennessy with Mohammed Asaid interviewing Ms. Suzanne Elkast on November 4th, 2018 for the Denison University Oral History Digital Collection Project on Arab Americans in Central Ohio. Suzanne Elkast is going to talk about life in the United States as an Arab American. Okay, so we've talked about some of the questions already, but uh, I'd like to get them on film. So, uh, when did you first come to America, and then also when did you first come to Columbus? I first came to the United States on 19, 1980, and I came to Columbus on 1991. And I was in Madison, Wisconsin. First, when I come, I was in Madison, Wisconsin. Then, 1991, I moved to Columbus, Ohio. Um, we talked about them before, but could you give the reasons sure. for each of them? Uh, we came to Madison, Wisconsin. I came as a, um, to come accompany my husband, who has a, a peace fellowship, to study toward his PhD, and I was just joint 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 wife. Uh, then we came to Columbus, Ohio, because he has a job on Ohio State University <laughs> as a professor or a teacher on university. Oh. So, and I came with him, joining husband again. Um, so, you, you came with him from uh, Egypt uh, because uh, he received the fellowship? Yeah, actually he came a year before me, then after a year I joined him. Um, was it challenging to leave Egypt? To yes, come it to was. <laughs> <laughs> it was, because Egypt is my country, my family, I, I am one of the big family. And it was so difficult to be apart. Uh, besides, when I come here, I have no friends, no family. I just my husband is so busy, so you can imagine. I was I suffered a lot from being lonely. Columbus. <laughs> للحاجات اللي انت كنت مثلا مفتقداها من مصر ايه هي يعني في حاجات مثلا كنت انت مفتقداها family يعني this is the major point I افتقد من family everything in Egypt the air the food the 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 the, the ground I love Egypt I love Egypt I really miss that a lot uh, but but I have to come because you know what you can't leave your husband you can leave your family family Mm -hmm. Also, I I love learning. Learning and education is very important in our family. So. ممكن تتكلم تتكلمين عن ال رحلتك مع مع ال PhD وال Masters. I um, I was a TA in, in Egypt in uh, in the university in Egypt before I come here, mm -hmm. and I was. Uh, working very hard to work my, my master degree and I finished all the coursework and I was working on the, um, the lab work, the research. This is why I delayed my coming for one year hoping to finish. But after my husband came and I feel that the family has to be united so I left the, the study and came after one year. So this is this is the main, the main issue here. Uh, which universities did you study at in Egypt? Uh, in Egypt, I was in uh, Alexandria University. Then they uh, switched to Tanta University because it was a branch uh, in Kafr Sheikh. First, Kulit uh, Zira'a Kafr Sheikh. This college was um, a part of uh, Alexandria University. By the time I graduated, it was Tanta University. So keep changing the system, but in the same place. But this is where I graduated. Um, like, but the master, uh, it was in Jamaat uh, Hilwan. Jamaat Hilwan, because Kulit Zara'a in Mushtohar. College of Agriculture in Mushtohar. This was, uh, also they keep changing the college, which, which university? I, I started with, when it was the Hilwan University, I ended it was Banha University. <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> so the uh, same entity, same body, same university, same teacher, same student, but they keep system change. So 
I was I was studying my master in كلية الزراعة بمشتهر the College of Agriculture at at مشتهر which is جامعة the University of Ben Ben High University at the end. Uh, what were your specializations at? Food science, microbiology. Actually, in Egypt, all my study was food science, uh, dairy, alba, mm -hmm. So uh, the department is different. So uh, it was food science, department, department of food science, and the branch is uh, dairy. Mm -hmm. So I study dairy in all aspects. يعني one class about ice cream, one class about cheese, one class about the protein in the milk, one class about the whey protein, everything about milk, manufacturing, everything, cheese, uh, uh, everything about uh, dairy, the bachelor. The master was on uh, the effect of uh, subclinical mastitis on the contents or the composition of milk. So I take the milk from the cow and analyze it and I see what kind of bacteria in it and try to make a connection between subclinical mastitis means the, the inflammation in the other before the, the, the animal gets sick. So it's so difficult. The subject was hard. So I, I work very hard and I, I, at the end I give up. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I give up. I wasn't patient enough and I, I actually I found an exit. But if I, if I if I was t stable emotionally and everything, I would finish. I would finish, but uh, this would happen. I, mm -hmm. I finished the, cla the work class and I go good time in the researches and I quit. Can you tell us about your story with the classes that you could take in the Jamaat of Wisconsin with Gozik? Classes, I took one before I started. First class was hard because I was I took it uh, I wasn't registered toward the PhD or master or anything I took one private class on my own it was privately paid and everything just to test myself and see if I how how things will go with me and this was very difficult class because I was pregnant in that one and I was having other two kids my husband was so busy and the language barrier was huge and the system is different the way they take the classes is not like us, the system is different, the language is different, everything is different. So it was a struggle. But when I come to study, when I register as a student in the master's degree, and I was full-time student, I send the children to the daycare center and I focus on my study and also my language was a little better, mm -hmm. staying in the state for five years. And I, was, I was home, Did it not, staying home hurt me. It hurt me language-wise because I don't see anybody. When my husband comes, we speak Arabic and that's it. But uh, I wasn't, uh, Eng يعني, before, I, before I, I stay home five years in America, I was good in English, better than after five years staying home. Staying home, out of the library, out of the academic, out of everything, so this hurt me. But when I, st I, I register as a master's student and I focus uh, on my study, it went great. It went very good. Um, you mentioned your husband a lot, and I'm curious, how, how did you meet your husband? <laughs> <laughs> I met him in college. We were, we were colleague at uh, Mushtar University. As I told you, I graduated from Kafr al-Sheikh. I'm, I'm from Mahal al-Kubra. I'm from Mahal al-Kubra. So I went to Kafr al-Sheikh, which is closer to Mahal. I graduated from it. Then I have a job as a TA in Mushtar. Mushtohar, this is a, a suburb of Cairo, say. Uh, my husband was, was there for, he was a TA, and I got a job as a TA in the same university. We met in the university. So we, uh, we get married and um, we stay in Aliyub. Aliyub is another suburb in, in, uh, in Cairo. So it's not my city, it's not his city, no relative. Also, we were alone. We were alone too, but... Uh, we were so busy in work. I was working very hard, and he was working. We don't have time for for even social life. Yeah. When in this era, in this era, yeah, the era where after married, after I get married, 
I was so busy with uh, study and he was busy and we were in the city with no family and no friends, nothing. It was just like that. But uh, I still can go to visit my family in the Mahal. This is the breeze, but I can go each week. I can go each month, I can go any time. Not when I, yani different, lonely here, different than lonely in Aliyub. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here, lonely, lonely for years. <laughs> When you came here, did you find a community eventually? Uh, we found uh, Columbus or Madison. Both. Yeah, Madison, both. <laughs> I tell you what, there's a big difference I can tell you about. Madison, I felt um, there's community and there's people and there's everything, but they're not my family that I used to. And also we raised to be um, strict, like family issue, not to be spoken out of the boundary of the family conservative yeah. this way I mean uh, uh, anything between me and my husband you know, I have check any problem anything no I have to contain everything inside the wall not to okay. this is how we how we were raised so yeah community but uh, uh, my, my my connection with them is superficial it's just I need them but I, I keep my all my life hidden behind the wall mm -hmm.